Hello everybody, I'm so excited to be here today with uh, Baron. Uh, Baron is a dropshipping who lives in a country with economic problems and he has some very, very, very interesting thoughts about how it's to have an online business or a dropshipping business in countries like this. He can share his thoughts about this and how he work uh, in this way. So, hey Baron, how are you? Hello. I'm, I'm very happy to join you with this video and uh, I am great. This is a great day and this is actually a great era to live in and we will talk about it later. Thank you for having me on your show. Where do you live? Uh, Where are you from? And, uh, I, I was born in Ankara, the capital of Turkey, and I'm 20 years old. Uh, I'm in the university right now, but uh, since, since I study engineering, uh, we have corporate cooperative education program. So for these last three and a half months, I was able to work on my project full time. Cool. What is your project? Uh, my project is uh, I actually uh, started with only doing dropshipping myself, and then uh, things got expanded from there. Uh, if you want me to start telling everything from the beginning, I can do that. Yeah, we'll be happy to hear how did you get to dropshipping, how you started. Okay, so um, I, I was 19 when I got my first job as an uh, engineer apprentice in a, a rocket company in Turkey, actually the only rocket company in Turkey. Uh, I was in the work analysis team and I was working full time at this corporation and uh, I used to get up at 6.30 a.m., uh, walk for 30 minutes to the bus and then bus would take me uh, to the company which took right to about an hour and the same uh, in the evening when I'm going back to my home. So uh, I just woke up before the sun and then I spent uh, in a total of two, two to three hours uh, in the trip. So when you measure it, it's one eighth of your day, about one eighth or one twelfth of your day. And this time was uh, mostly wasted because I had to be at a specific location at a specific time. And I really started to uh, dislike my job when uh, my boss was being angry at me for stupid reasons. And uh, since I was an apprentice, I was being paid less than uh, the cleaner in the company, but uh, I did more things than most of the engineers there. So th the pay was une unequal to me. Like uh, we got paid under the minimum wage. Ah, oh, wow. In, yeah, in Turkey, the government takes extra taxes on students. So if you're a student and make an inter internship from somewhere, you get taxed extra. So I was getting under minimum wage paid and I was doing an engineer level job. So this whole thing uh, got me awakened, awakened to the situation and I saw that this is not a good way to live your life. Uh, there's much more to life and the youth, the time and your prime years is uh, are much more valuable than any money uh, these companies could pay you. So uh, I started to seek out other ways to pull money from the economy. Like in the start, since I had, I didn't have even a thousand dollars in my bank account since my local currency was very weak at that time because of the uh, political problems, economical problems that were out of my reach. I didn't even have a thousand dollars of purchasing power at that time and uh, when you're that broke you can't really think about purpose uh, changing people's lives uh, th that's the, not the level uh, in the hierarchy like hierarchy of needs th that's on the top I was like this this level so I, I had to find a, find a way so I could pull money out of the economy in my own terms so I wouldn't have to sell my uh, time to another bus or to my parents. And then I found dropshipping because 
that was one of the best businesses you could start uh, with uh, zero money down on the products. And it, it was also easier to manage than a service-based business. So I could also provide some service to some people at the, at my, in my own terms, but uh, it's not as easy as doing dropshipping as I started. And by the way, but I started at Amazon, not eBay. I started first dropshipping on Amazon. Yeah. And in Turkey, we do things a little bit differently than uh, U US. Uh, we generally dropship from US, Amazon US, Amazon Canada, or Amazon US, Amazon Mexico. Since there are uh, sellers in these other platforms, uh, you can just present uh, Amazon.com's product in Amazon.ca or Amazon.mx, and then you can make uh, good profit margins with that. We also uh, have some software that makes it very easy to find products on Amazon. And since you just need the async codes to list it on Amazon Canada, because they are all in the same panel, you can control your uh, Canada store, America store, and your Mexico store from your same panel. So it was very really easy to find the product and upload the product. Because of that, I was able to pull money out of the economy without having much of the high income skills, rather than engineering, of course. Cool. Uh, so actually, I came to dropshipping because you wanted to like not to sell your time and you want to really maximize the profits which you can do with your time. Yes. Uh, nice. That's and how, how did you get to dropshipping on eBay after this? Okay, so uh, when I first started uh, selling on Amazon, uh, I, I purchased an educational program in Turkey, but at the time, that education program wasn't up to par uh, with industry, so there were a lot of knowledge gaps uh, in my knowledge. So I decided to also uh, get mentorship from some guy uh, who knew Amazon much better. So I, I started getting mentoring from that guy who is now my friend. And one of, in one of our mentoring calls, we were talking about he was talking about setting up uh, a new uh, edu online education company and he, he said he needed uh, people who knew good English, who are also smart and hardworking. So then I said, I, I might be able to do that job. I might, I might be able to learn new business models fast and uh, try it myself, then tell it to people. And the eBay came into place when uh, the other mentoring students, the other consultation students in our group started to get suspended because uh, the trademark issues with the brands. So when you drop ship from uh, Amazon to Amazon, you have to be very careful about uh, trademark problems because you work with thousands of brands. So even two or three of them might be upset about what you are doing. So if if they claim uh, trademark violations against you, there is not that much you could do. So we were searching about a new business method which allowed you to sell most brands without getting into trouble. Because of that, uh, we found eBay dropshipping. Cool. Nice. So this is how you get to eBay dropshipping and now what are you doing in eBay dropshipping? You are a seller by yourself and you also teach people? Yeah, uh, actually I, I was the first one to figure out a way to sell on eBay from Turkey without having uh, any relatives or close friends uh, in the other countries because there's no PayPal in Turkey and uh, in order to sell on eBay, you have to have a PayPal account. So I, I tried to set up a PayPal account in UK, in US, but they didn't work because I didn't know what I was doing. And then I started to research about it. Then I learned about stealth accounts. Then I tried to work with a lot of stealth account providers, which most of them were scammers. And eventually, after many 
months of trial and error, I have found a site uh, that is reliable. And then I, I talked to him and then we made an agreement. After that, I got my account and then I was able to get consistent sales with that account. And then I prepared an educational program and now it is the uh, only and uh, most detailed eBay course uh, in Turkey. It has more than 15 hours of content and many more extra bonuses. Nice. So, yeah, I saw that there are not a lot of dropshippers from Turkey. It's very, very not common there. Yeah. Uh, but the number will rise up in the next few months, I hope. <laughs> nice. Uh, when we talked with you on uh, Skype, you explained me something which was very interesting for me. At this way, I also uh, uh, wanted to make this interview because it's something which was very amazing. You explained me about the thing which, uh, about the currency, that because you are making money by dollars, so it's much better for you because you live in Turkey and it's much cheaper there. So can you explain a bit about this? Sure. Uh, so the Turkish Lira, uh, was beaten more than 50% in the last two years. So uh, at this moment, one US dollar is equivalent to uh, 5.63 Turkish lira. So when you earn uh, dollars and spend Turkish liras, there is a huge leverage between the currencies. So even if you just profit $1,000 from eBay or Amazon, uh, it has turned them to a good starting engineering salary in Turkey. So even if you get $1,000 of passive income per month on your own terms, uh, if you are by yourself, if you don't have a huge family, you can be financially free with that money. And it is not very hard to get there. You mean $1,000? It's what engineer in uh, Turkey get? Uh, in general... Uh, st starting salary of most engineers and engineering is a good profession in Turkey. It is considered to be a good profession. You might start with 3,000 or 4,000 Turkish liras, which is not even a thousand dollars. If you if you can earn a thousand dollars, which is five thousand and six hundred uh, Turkish liras, roughly. Uh, it is considered to be a very good salary for an, for a young engineer. So if you can profit a thousand dollars, then you can be financially free right now in Turkey. Nice. And cool. And how fast do you think people can get to this uh, amount? For example, from your students or people who you teach, do you have any estimation? Yeah. Uh, let's uh, talk with numbers. Uh, I log each of the sales I get from my stores, like from Canada, Mexico, and US, eBay. And my average profit is about $78 dollars per item. So if you profit $78 dollars per item on each transaction, uh, you have to make, uh, let me do the calculation from my phone. Uh, 1,000 divided by 7.5 is you have to get 135 sales to be financially free. Divided by 30, since your store works 30 days a month, uh, if you get 45 sales a day with your store, you can be financially free in Turkey. And uh, there are many more countries whose currency is weaker than the Turkish lira. So for some of the countries, if you can profit a thousand dollars a month, it is, it is a like mid-level uh, manager salary in some companies, a thousand dollars, and you only have to get four to five sales, six sales at most a day, and it is not very hard to do. It it takes, uh, if you are hardworking, it takes at most three to four months to get there, and you are financially free. Like that, that's huge. That's amazing. Cool. Uh, I know that uh, I think that. There is, you also said something about this. There are problems with PayPal on uh, Turkey, also with eBay, or there are no problems to open eBay accounts? Uh, so here's the situation. There's no PayPal in Turkey. So 
you have to use US PayPal or UK PayPal to sell on eBay. And mm -hmm. since your PayPal account and your eBay account is linked, uh, you have to log into them uh, from the same country's IP. So there is no limitation for you to go and set up an eBay account with, with your Turkish IP or from Turkey. But if you want to sell on it, you have to connect the PayPal account to it. And if you want to connect the PayPal account to it, then you have to use US or UK PayPal. Because of that, uh, you are unable to set up your own eBay account without a legal entity. One more choice is actually setting up an LLC in the United States, and then you can get yourself an individual taxpayer identification number, set, set up a PayPal business account, and then set up an eBay business account, purchase an anchor store. So you start with high limits and verify PayPal right away. But that is very costly since you are spending dollars and in, in your country, you are probably earning Turkish liras if you haven't started the option yet. So like 99% of my students are not able to afford setting up an LIC right away. So we had to come up with an alternative solution which cost less. And, we came, and I came up with Stealth account and they work right now. Cool. So you're working with a stealth account to be able to really make the dropshipping on uh, Turkey. Yeah, uh, without stealth accounts and uh, residential private proxies, uh, it is almost impossible to do dropshipping uh, from Turkey without a legal entity. Like you get banned right away. You get banned in a week. Yeah. Cool. People, uh, it's very important for people to know that uh, it's very important to work with private for proxy and not shell proxy because shell proxy will uh, burn and close your account. Just yeah, you get that at, at most a month. Like I give you at most one month. And uh, proxies are not that expensive. Uh, they, they only cost around $10. And mm -hmm. also in Turkey, even purchasing the proxy is a pain in the, like, I don't want to curse. Uh, <laughs> uh, even purchasing a private proxies is hard in Turkey. Like you have to set up another PayPal account just to put your credit card into it. You make the purchase, you get the private proxy, and then you, you send the bank transfer to your stat guy. Stat guy gives you your stat account, and then you use your proxy to log on to your stat account, and you have to make sales in your first month so you can keep paying your proxy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but at least uh, it's worth it <laughs> in uh, this situation. Do you have any other tips which you want to give to people who want to start dropshipping in uh, countries like Turkey, countries where the paper and eBay blocked, or any other yeah. countries which have the financial uh, problems? Yeah, uh, I can uh, set up a uh, roadmap to people uh, who wish to start dropshipping in a underdeveloped country and it is first you need to learn how to do the job because if you try to figure out everything yourself you end up paying more than education cost and you spend more time to learn it so i had to learn doing ebay dropshipping by myself because there were no other courses to teach me how to do this in uh, from turkey so i spent months and i spent hundreds of dollars it. But if you were to purchase an educational program, it would uh, cost you less and also it would take less of your time. In order to afford the educational program, you might have to uh, work on a side project with minimum wage. Like that's how I did. Uh, in my apprenticeship, I was earning less than uh, minimum wage and I haven't spent any money from my uh, first two salaries because I use them to learn about the job. I learned about how to do Amazon dropshipping. Then, then I started. And if you want to be successful in dropshipping, you have to find products that are already in demand. You don't want to guess the demand. You, you want to enter a market if there is demand for it and if you can compete on it. So. If you can't compete with your competitors, but there is demand, don't enter that market. You want to enter only if there is demand and you can do something better than your comp competition. For example, 
you might be able to drop the price for like three cents. You might be able to create a better copy for your uh, eBay listing. You might be able to uh, make it more visually pleasing so that it catches the uh, customer's eye. You can add trust badges to your uh, item pictures so that uh, it is more noticeable to your customers. And AutoDS uh, does it really good. You use HTML based scripts so that your listings look professional. Some people just copy and paste everything from the supplier's website and do not touch any of it. And if you find good items with uh, really bad descriptions, then you can improve the listing and then you can sell the item rather than your competition. So the number one skill for new dropshippers is to uh, understand if there is demand for the product I want to sell and if I can compete on it. Cool. Great. Thank you. Great. When I do release your uh, course so people know and uh, then we can also put it under the video maybe. Uh, okay, so uh, we are planning to uh, open the course for public in this month. Uh, before that, we only had 25 people in our test group. So we wanted to see uh, people uh, doing good with the program. And uh, a few of our first students started to sell on eBay. And then uh, we saw that it worked. So the course will be uh, open for public in this month, uh, in April. Cool. Yes, thank right. you. So I'll put uh, the link when you give me under the video. Great. Thank you very much, Beren. It was very, very nice to do this interview for you. I'm sure that it will be interesting for people. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for having me in your channel. Uh, I, I'm really pleased to uh, talk to you about this subject. And uh, if, any of, if any of your followers have any questions, uh, they can ask me their questions on Instagram. Uh, you can also tag my Instagram so they can. Uh, like it is the best way to reach me. I'm excellent. Cool. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Have a good day.